Man, I've been holding off on a while for these videos, but the time has finally come. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sean Clan Shadow Productions. Now I've been putting this video off for a good while and for good reason too, because these guys are ones that you really don't want to mess with, but I'm here to give you guys some help. I'm here to give you guys some teachings to be able to kind of be able to see certain things and just kind of educate you guys on, you know, not everything is demonic, not everything is, you know, of the devil or the hell. You know, if you're going to be dealing with a devil, you're going to be dealing with a demon. You can definitely tell, and here's some of the things that you need to watch watch out for. So, on my journeys and in my path, paths, I guess you can say, throughout my life, you know, I've had definitely a couple encounters with evil, of hell, of, you know, those darker entities, especially when we used to go paranormal investigating. Now, there's this one location that we went to that, you know, we, we encountered a dark entity that really kind of brought fear to me. But it was one of those things because like we were, I was a little bit newer as far as for expanding my experience and interactions with spiritual beings that we were interacting with beings that weren't of native descent, I guess you could say. So when it came to these beings, some of the things that you really have to look out for is, you know, you can kind of watch these movies and everything when it comes to demonic possessions or demonic entities and everything. But a lot of times, for it to be classified as, you know, a demon, for it to be classified as, you know, being of hell, there's you, <laughs> there's a hardcore level difference as far as for just dealing with that compared to just a, a malicious spirit or somebody who's just upset and angry and everything. You know, it's, it's in a sense of their power level, I guess you can say, of interacting with these beings and what you might find. The being that we ran into was over at an old jail. And it was pretty intense because this being had a lot of power to where he could manipulate all of our equipment that we had. He could manipulate the IR light that we had. And even during a spirit box session that we had, it was pretty crazy because like I was asking questions in the spirit box at the location and in, in, in the clip and everything, you see me kind of like space out. And then it wasn't until like, you know, one of one of our crew members was like, hey, Sean Clinton, Sean Clinton. And then like I, I kind of spaced out of it. And I don't the thing I remember from that interaction was when I was asking those questions is that I got tunnel vision and the tunnel vision kind of just went into darkness and my mind just kind of faded out somewhere <laughs> and i was just like i was just kind of standing there and then like i kind of snapped back into it once i heard these guys voices and everything so i was just like damn you know <laughs> man the guy got me and everything as far as for you know kind of throwing off your game and everything so when you're dealing with more of the demonic, you're dealing with more of, you know, the, the more powerful evil side of things. You know, they can physically hurt you, they can spiritually hurt you, and they can mentally hurt you, emotionally hurt you too, and everything. So there's a lot of steps as far as for, you know, when you deal with these guys, you're going to know when you're dealing with these guys, because when they enter a room, you just feel that presence, that kind of power that's there. There's a lot of misclassifications of, you know, I see all the time, you know, it's just like, if you don't follow like a certain religion or anything, they, they're very quick or easy to call everything a devil, everything a demon. And if it's not in like a certain way, but 
you have to understand that like with each religion with each race with each region really too there are different demonic entities that are out there of evil each tribe each race each religion has their own stories of these darker beings that kind of go around and do what they need to do and everything but that's one of those things is just like learning how to classify these beings that's when you know which tools to use to be able to protect yourself from these beings and whatever race or religion you come from you always have to use your protections at the utmost i guess you say importance to be able to protect yourself against these things because when it comes to dealing with these guys these guys can look inside of you they can know your intention they can know your spirit they can know your thoughts your memories your past experiences and they'll bring those to the forefront to be able to be like look this is what you did and all these other things to put doubt in your mind so you know that's where you see like <coughs> unfortunately you know you see these movies in hollywood when it comes to demons and stuff like that maybe when it happened in real life a lot of these ones that are based off a true story i'll take like the conjuring for example it wasn't that extreme honestly but they had hollywood it up but when it comes to if you were to talk about it what happened in the spiritual realm at the same time it probably was that extreme with what they can do to an actual person just because it didn't happen right there doesn't mean it's not a possibility that it can actually happen to somebody in the real world so when you think about these things it's just always be cautious always be careful whenever you run into these beings and if you have like a demonic attachment you know i recommend please 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 go seek a local medicinal practitioner whether that be a medicine man a priest or whatever faith you follow please 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 ask for help because the more help that you can get to be able to rid these things of you they are they can be a parasite they can bring a lot of darkness and evil into your life so be be cautious and be careful and try to get rid of that thing as fast as you can and what are the reasonings why they would pick on somebody well that could be somebody could have spiritual abilities so they want to pick on somebody so to make sure that they don't they're not i guess you can say they can't help any spirits and it could be somebody of summoning that they summon this demon and it was by accident it comes on them or it could be a summoning it was sent against somebody who is of the innocent life and it could just happen at random too it could be them just testing their power it could be just them doing what they doing what they do is being malicious and doing all these other crazy things that's out there so there but when it comes to like identifying these things there's a lot of them out there everybody and but your faith your love your happiness is what is going to be the biggest protector that you have against these beings and a lot of times that's not going to be enough a lot of times you know they will overpower that a lot of times they will you know overpower you you know just like how like in a split second i lost myself in that investigation real quick and in other investigations we went to the washoe club in virginia city nevada and we encountered another demon over there at this location and let, let me tell you that the sb7 experiences and responses that we were getting to one of our late members that passed away not because of that but he passed away of other reasons he was getting responses like cut his throat you know don't let him leave and all these other different things led to a possession and an exorcism at this location and this being what felt like it was i guess you can say the whole room enveloped in darkness and when we were doing that investigation it was like we were sent somewhere else you can sense that like oh yeah you're still in the building you're still in the room but you weren't there physically or spiritually you were off somewhere else encountering and pretty much doing battle with whatever you're doing at this low these locations now i do have to say one of the more powerful locations that we've ever went to as far as for dom demonic encounters is bobby mackey's music world so this one was a little bit more earlier on in our investigations when we went to this place and i could tell you that this place because of all these things that kind of happen when you talk about a, a place or a location and then there's kind of horror and fear kind of tied to it you in a sense give it power you in a sense are giving it you know a little bit of oh my god this thing this place is creepy or you're giving it that energy but 
when we went over there and everything, it was, we walked in there and I could just feel like the whole walls were caked with evil essence when we're walking around and we didn't get, we, we got what we came there for, but you know, it wasn't as bad as it could have been because of certain circumstances at the time, you know, we, we couldn't interact with the beings fully, fully, I guess you can say as much as we wanted due to circumstances at the time. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, but pretty much, you know, it was a place of fear and just because of, you know, TV shows and all these other different things, you know, these are the things that like when you fear and you see these things that it gives it power. But what I'm going to ask you guys to do is when you think about these places, pray for them, pray for goodness, pray for, you know, instead of thinking of this place as fear, just be like, it's a tainted place that has had a lot of darkness come through it. So whenever you think of like a haunted location or anything and, and you have like no in inkling or intention to go there to investigate or interact with the beings, think of it and pray that it get, becomes a holy site. Pray that, you know, the spirits that are of good can go in there again. Pray that the demonic and demons and all those other things can leave that place. Pray that, you know, only good can reign in this world. And that's one of those things is your prayer right there is going to be very, very powerful. And whether you're a Christian, whether you're, you know, Catholic, you're, you're indigenous faith, you're all these other different religions and everything. The power of prayer is universal. I don't care if you, uh, if you get a lot of comments about people saying that like, you know, Jesus is the only way. It's just like prayer is prayer. Intent is intent. Happiness is happiness, no matter what skin color, religion, or faith you, you follow. So that's one of those things is just like that right there is, it seems like in a lot of times throughout, especially in recent times, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of things kind of going around in the United States, but not only the United States, but around the world. And this is what darkness and evil wants, everybody. This right here is what they want. They want disorder. They want chaos, you know? So this right here is a reminder to everybody out there that you need to be like, hey, wake up. I know you're angry. This person cut you off in traffic. Maybe it is their fault, but just maybe they're having a bad day, you know? somebody has attitude at work they fuck up your order at mcdonald's and yes I, I i will bring that up a lot because it's happened a lot to me you know mcdonald's is very sacred food to me so when they mess it up you know i get a little upset but hey things happen you know pray don't divide don't you know do all these different things especially when it comes to like presidential elections and all these other different things and it's just like you know don't rage war over somebody who doesn't even know your name you know, rage war for somebody who, who knows your name and you're willing to fight for them and a good leader that'll protect you as much as you will protect them. So don't divide, you know, just because you have differences in, in opinion, so be it, you know, people are different. So love them, find mutual ground, find understanding, find that compassion and spread that love and happiness across the world. Man, we're a human race is 2024 and we're on the brink of wars there's already wars happening out there it's just like imagine imagine if war and everything wasn't such a thing if greed and all those things wasn't a thing in this world and we can all live happily we can all get food we can all give homes and free education and just imagine the things that we could all create together if we were all happy living and joyous in our lives and all these other different things but you know you have to really think about the darkness and evil that's there in this world and you 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 as a person you can't rely you can rely on spiritual beings and everything but you can't have them do everything you yourself have to meet your prayer halfway you yourself are the person that has to go and show the world show the creator that he didn't create you for no reason everybody has a purpose in this world everybody has a reason to fight everybody has a reason to teach and everything so that's gonna kind of lead up to like why this video kind of took a little bit longer you know something happened over this weekend that you know kind of really put into question a lot of things and i had to wait four days to be able to look for a sign for something to tell me you know i need to change my path or something like that and it then nothing happened so i feel in my heart that this channel here is giving you guys teachings and knowledge to be able to protect yourself 
in this world to be able to give you the knowledge and give you a different perspective on this this world that you interact with and walk with every day with hope and happiness with the information that i give everybody here i hope and i pray that everybody does good with this with that good heart good mind and intention with it to be educated now if you go and you're not educated and you've been living in the world and kind of oblivious to a lot of these things it's time for humans to be able to learn a little bit about this stuff and a lot of this information that i'm giving you is of personal experience is of personal stories i'm not no guardian i'm not no medicine man i'm just telling my story and my journey that i'm taking on now as learning as much as i can about our world the spiritual world and my own teachings as well and i'm taking you guys on my journey with all that information so now with that being said without all me claiming to be a higher level deity or being of a human race you know i'm speaking to you as a human i'm speaking to you as sean clen i'm right here with you i'm on the same level as everybody here with you so let's collab with that happiness that love share your stories share your experiences and please be respectful of everybody else's experiences that are out there in this world and there's going to be a lot of things changing when everybody starts to wake up and actually see the bigger picture of what's going on. You know, if there's a lot of these things that are happening, take a step back, look at it. That's one of my biggest advice that I can give. Step back, look, and see what's actually happening. Take emotion out of it and put logic into it and just be like, this doesn't seem right, so I'm gonna go this other way. Oh, this doesn't seem right, so I'm gonna defuse the situation and let's go ahead and talk about whatever. You know, there's a lot of people out there that don't want to talk about certain things and are wanting to hide certain things and some weird ideas of what actually happened about certain situations. And Biga, if they want to think a certain way, if they want to be that certain way, you know, pray for them, pray for them that they can find understanding, pray for them that they can mature, pray for them that there is no jealousy, pray for them that they can find and be on the good path again, like how they were once were. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode right here like i said just be careful out there everybody if you're dealing with these demonic entities and the best way to fight evils with happiness laughter and love so everybody be happy out there if you guys want to stay up to date with the sean clen shadow productions i do have instagram so you can follow me at official sean clen ssp i do have some upcoming events so go check that out i will have a link in the description if you want to meet me in person and hear some more amazing stories in anaheim california at oc paracon that's going to be coming up soon so tickets will be closing i would have to say in a couple weeks so get your tickets now while you can yeah go check out the merch store and everything a lot of exciting videos coming up very very soon and that's going to be coming up in some future videos so you guys take care many blessings to you all hope you guys have a great morning evening afternoon wherever you are Hagorner.